In this video, we'll walk through brake lever mounting and positioning on upright handlebars. Brake lever mounting and positioning is part of our video series, The Park Tool Guide to Rim Brakes. Watch this video to see how we've organized the content in this series. Otherwise, let's begin. Hello, Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company. First, let's go over the tools and supplies needed. Hex wrenches, a screwdriver, and a torque wrench to make sure things are properly tight. Upright handlebar brake levers are commonly made with a compression slot in the lever body. As the mounting bolt is tightened, the slot is squeezed to hold the lever tight to the bars. Alternatively, there may be a top cap held on with two pinch bolts. The concept for lever installation and positioning is the same for mechanical as it is with hydraulic. To install the levers, begin by determining which lever is the right and left side. If there's a trigger style shift lever, install that first. Next, the brake lever. And then finally, the grip. This will help determine the final lateral position. However, for the twist style shifters, install the brake lever first, then the twist shifter, and then the grip. Next, set the lateral or left to right positioning of the lever for ease of use and comfort. It's common for the user to come fairly inboard on the grip. Depending on the design of the lever, you may not want it all the way outward as it can interfere. You may want to come a little bit inboard to get some clearance for the hand. Brake levers may also come with a built-in shift lever with the brake lever. On the left hand example, the lever is too far outward and the shift lever is interfering with the knuckle of the user. Move it inboard a little bit like the right lever. We're clearing the knuckle and it's much more comfortable. The lever body rotation is then set for comfort by the user. In this example, the levers are nearly horizontal. The user must then twist their wrist to pull the lever effectively. A better alignment is to have the lever body angled downward about 45 degrees from horizontal. So we're more in line with the arm and the wrist of the user. Sight each lever so the rotation is symmetrical left to right. Look at the lever from both in line with the handlebars and also from the top to see that they're rotated the same. Realign as necessary. Secure both levers to the manufacturer's torque specifications, which can range from three newton meters to seven newton meters, which is moderately low. On the double bolt cap style levers, work back and forth between each bolt until the correct torque is reached. Vintage style levers on the upright handlebars use a pull-up strap to secure them to the bar. Disengage the cable and you can reach into the lever body with a screwdriver to tighten it or move it. Those are the basic procedures for brake lever mounting and positioning on upright handlebars. The next section in our rim brake series is on installing housing and cable. There are two videos to choose from, depending on whether you're working with upright handlebars or drop handlebars. And again, watch this video for an explanation how we've organized the content in this series. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.